morning i just wanted to um talk about this little pot collagen and kelp fondant i just honest i can't sing the praises of this little pot enough it's really big look massive size it's this lovely green has a lovely smell fresh it smells a bit like um cucumbers and it's lovely, lovely smell. But the thing is, it's advertised as for stretch marks, which is really good, really good. Hydrates the skin, rebuilds the skin's um, natural layers. But I need to tell you, this big pot is, I've used this for the whole family. It is absolutely fantastic. I bought it um, straight away. It was one of the first things I bought because I bought it for um, psoriasis. And I bought it about two months ago. We've used quite a bit. I've been using it on at least three of them in the house. What I've used, found that you can use it for apart from stretch marks because it's fantastic is eczema. My little boy has eczema. Started on the back of his legs, but because it's the summer season, it's absolutely spread mad. So I've been putting this on him after his shower, his bath, every night. It's a massive difference. It stops the itching, cools the skin, and it's just taken off that redness and the dryness. So his skin's a bit more smooth there. Still got his patches. It's not going to, you know, it's not a medical cream. But it's just smoothed it down and calmed that itching and burning for him, which is lovely. Another thing I've found is I've got a lovely sunny day today and it's really good for your dry skin on your heels. I have terrible feet. <laughs> Don't mind admitting. And um, if I rub this into my heels straight away, it's lovely. It's soothing and it's nice after a hard day at work. So it's lovely just to do that. But the dry skin is coming off much easier when I'm trying to do it. And my feet are lovely and smooth, so they're ready for us to get my little nail polish on and get me some of my sandals ready, which I'm desperate to wear. So for your feet, fantastic for your feet. But what I found is I've got really like a dry scalp. I've got dry hair, dry scalp. And what I found is um, I started rubbing it into mine. I literally just put a little dot and I spread it out on three fingers and then I massage it into the scalp, which I'm not going to do because I've already got it on, so I'll get that off. Um, I just massage it into my scalp, just like that. And what I do is I do it on like maybe a night time, I'm going to do it because I'm not wasting it. Do it on a night time, all over, leave it on overnight, and then obviously if I wash my hair in the morning, I wash it off. But what I found was my children went into the shower the other night and they've got really quite, my daughter's got long hair, doesn't want to wash, doesn't want to wash it hardly, doesn't want to brush it very much. So it gets quite tatty in the morning and it's hurting to brush down and, you know, putting plaits and stuff. So what I did was she had wet hair and I did the same. Put it on my fingers, massaged it through her scalp and then left it a minute. Then I combed her hair all through, tied it up and she went to bed with it wet. When she got up the next morning, the hair is really soft, smells gorgeous, silky. It's got a glow to it, an absolutely fantastic glow to it. Even her teacher commented and was touching her hair and saying, oh, your hair is beautiful. Yes, after another day or two, it will be a bit greasy because it's obviously a cream and she not wash it off. But it's a, it's, the brush has gone through her hair, no bother. So I'd recommend it as a detangler. I'd recommend it is for stretch marks. I'd recommend it just for hydrating the skin and rebuilding the, the skin's moisture if you've got really dry or aging skin. Definitely for eczema or psoriasis, fantastic straight after a bath shower, cooling. I'd recommend it for your dry skin on your feet, for your sand to get sandals ready, or any dry feet, any hot, tired feet. It's really cooling, five so far. Dry scalp, and also is a bit of a detangler for kids' hair. And also, it's absolutely fantastic if you've got a little baby for cradle cap. It really is for cradle cap. Okay, thank you.